for just as many people as we can get in here. If you could slide down to the ends of your rows, everybody slide down to the ends of your rows so that we can fit as many people as we can so it's not a standing room only. Thank you. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through, just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia, I said, Georgia. Georgia, a song of you comes as sweet and clear as moonlight through the 
pines Other arms reach out to me
Good evening. The highlight for every family attending graduation is when the name of their child, grandchild, niece, or nephew is announced over the microphone. We will respectfully ask that all applause, noise, and cheering be withheld until all of the names are called. We do, however, ask that the family members of each announced graduate stand quietly when his or her name is called and then be seated. In our desire to ensure the prestige of this commencement, we will strictly enforce this requirement. Failure to comply will result in your being removed from the ceremony. I hope this will not happen, and I trust that with everyone's cooperation, this will be the best graduation ceremony yet at Thomasville High School. Please, at this time, turn off all cell phones until the completion of the ceremony. Thank you. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for Thomasville High School's Class of 2022. We appreciate your attendance here this evening. I'm Sydney Deutsch, president of the senior class. It is my privilege to introduce my fellow student officers for the 2021-2022 school year. Vice President, Carson Cochran. Treasurer, Natalie Heron. Thank you. Please rise for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that I extend a warm greeting to the parents, family, and friends of the class of 2022. High school graduation is a once-in-a-lifetime achievement. It is time for celebration and reflection on many years of hard work and sacrifice. It is a milestone for which I want to commend our students and their families for their effort to make tonight's graduation ceremony a reality. Seniors, your graduation honors you and your parents. We hope that the education you have received at each level of matriculation in the Thomasville City Schools has developed within you the knowledge, 
interests, ideals, and habits that will propel you to greater accomplishments. After tonight's fanfare, I hope that you will look back on your time at Thomasville High School and remember the values of respect, perseverance, and integrity that you have acquired. On behalf of our school board members and the school administration, I greet and thank you for sharing in this 2022 graduation exercise. At this time, I would like to introduce our school board members. Board Chair, Ms. Kijar Butler. Vice Chair, Ms. Brittany Glass. Board Member, Dr. Hazel Jones. Board Member, Dr. Mary Scruggs. Board Member, Mr. Corey Sumner. Board Member, Ms. Karen Kelso. And Board Member, Mr. Russell Beckham. Thank you. I am pleased to introduce our speakers for tonight. These students exemplify everything that is good with the youth of today, and they show us why we should all be optimistic about tomorrow. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our 2022 co salutatorians Iris Algrove and Sydney Deutsch, who will be this, our first speakers. They will be followed by our 2022 valedictorian, Carson Cochran. Hello and good evening. If you don't know me, I'm Iris Algrove. And I'm Sydney Deutsch. We are your salutatorians for the class of 2022. We decided to write our speech together, interspersed with each other's experiences, because we are so proud to hold this title together. I came to Thomasville my freshman year of high school. I was coming from Miami, Florida, a slightly bigger city than here, where I had spent the last six years of my life. I came to Thomasville High School skeptical and a little apprehensive. I had never been around deep southern accents or tried collard greens or seen a taxidermy store. It was a foreign place, more so than anywhere else I had lived. I have attended Thomasville City Schools since kindergarten, beginning at Jerger Elementary School. As I look out into the audience of my classmates, I can recount those who I spent my elementary years with and the fond memories we share from our first day of kindergarten to field day. Whether you attended Harper, Scott, or Jerger, many of us have been together since the beginning, growing and sharing experiences that have molded us into the young men and women we are at this moment. Today, I am exceptionally thankful for the bonds we share, new and old, as a graduating class. Even though I have had a vastly different experience than Sydney and arrived here far later, I was still met with a welcoming and nurturing environment. People went out of their way to introduce themselves to me, so I felt a little less like an alien. Some seniors took me under their wing my first year and introduced me to the spring musical in which I worked as crew to create a magical show and met future friends. One of those people was Thomasville's salutatorian last year who had pushed me to play soccer my sophomore year. I never felt alone because classmates and teachers constantly reached out to me. Although it is a small school, I never ran out of new people to meet each year who would introduce me to new experiences, whether that meant clubs or friends. As Thomasville High School students, our experiences, although quite unique, are shared. Whether the memories you associate with our school are the bomb threats we experienced our sixth grade year or more fond recollections, such as being a part of the band, student section, or football team on autumn Friday nights, we are bonded by the unity that our school propagates. Regardless of what you associate with your high school experience, we as a class have all come out on the other side. I'm grateful to be here with all of you today. I'm aware we are all vastly different people, but that is what this make, makes this school extremely special. Many of you have known each other since elementary school or earlier, 
but still came out of high school as unique individuals, molded by the way you approached your education. For instance, I like to wait, maybe even procrastinate, when Cindy likes to get things done early, which is why I'm thankful we wrote this speech together. Her insistent nagging to finish it was much appreciated. Each student in the audience had a unique coalescence of focuses that determined their own experience. Whether your four years of high school revolved around sports, the relationships you formed with others, athletics, the arts, or academics, we are all in the same cap and gown, in the same room, celebrating the same accomplishment. I was scared entering high school. I didn't know anyone at first. Everyone had years of history that I felt I could never live up to, but my fears quickly dissipated. Classmates introduced themselves and took me to my first football game, invited me to their birthday parties, and showed me things about Thomasville that made it special. Even teachers made sure to reach out. I grew to be a part of the community. I could find people I knew in the grocery store or just walking around downtown. I was no longer a stranger after my first year and took comfort in the many familiar faces. Each graduating senior has a staff member who has ameliorated their high school experience. Classmates, I implore you to reflect upon who this staff member is for you and express your appreciation. I recall at the beginning of my senior year, as I was filling out college applications, I was exceptionally concerned about learning my class rank. I later shared my worries with Iris, who pondered what hers was as well. After learning we were ranked third and fourth in our class, we decided to seek Ms. West's perspective on the importance of class rank in the college application process. We sat in Ms. West's office for over an hour, longing for her to tell us what we so desperately wanted to hear, that you do not need to be ranked first or second in your class to be accepted into a competitive college. Ms. West's exact words to us were something along the lines of, girls, I don't want you to stress out about this and make yourselves miserable your senior year trying to get the ranking of Sal. I know how y'all are. Well, I think you can all assume that we did not heed that advice. And I believe Ms. West presumed that we would not do so. On behalf of our graduating class, Iris and I would like to thank the administrators who helped us along the way, regardless of how many times we bugged them with our eager questions, especially Ms. West, Ms. Jordan, Mr. Beatty, and Mr. Williams. Of course, we also wanted to extend our thanks to our families, friends, and other teachers that supported us along this journey, and would like to remind our audience of each graduate's appreciation for them, as evident by their position here today. I'm thankful for the way this school and its amazing teachers have prepared me for college. Some people would wrongly believe that attending a small school fails to challenge young minds or is easier than a big one, but they are so very wrong. At THS, we don't have the option to run away from people who, would who we would disagree with. It's far too small a school for that. We are forced to confront our differences and learn to appreciate them. Our teachers know all our names and make sure to confront us when they know we can do better. Because of this environment and the people that have supported us along the way, Sydney and I are both able to attend Georgia Tech this fall. We could not have done it without our friends, our family, or this school that has supported us from the very beginning. I'm extremely grateful that I have Iris to share this title with, and we both agree that we could not have picked a better classmate to be named co-salutatorian with. The bonds we all share as Thomasville High School students are not to be taken for granted, and we urge our classmates, whether you plan on attending further education, pursuing a job, or any other path, to hold them dear to your heart. Thank you. Good evening, graduates, staff, friends, and family. Thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate the class of 2022. I'd like to take a quick second to thank my family and all my amazing teachers for supporting me and encouraging me to be my best. That's the reason I'm up here today. I was recently watching High School Musical 3 with the kids I babysit and saw the final scene where they sing the titular song, High School Musical. The lyric struck me, High School Musical, who says we have to let it go? It's the best part we've ever known. Step into the future. But hold on to the high school musical. 
Let's celebrate where we come from, the friends who've been there all along, memories that last forever. And then the curtain falls, the main characters jump into the air in a freeze frame, and the three movie series comes to a close. I remember watching this movie as a six or seven year old for the first time at my friend's house. I thought the characters looked so old and I was so sad they were graduating high school and the movie series was over. That night with my friend as little kids is the memory I think of any time I hear the final high school musical song. So with this idea in mind, I thought I'd take us on a walk down memory lane based on a quote from an Eric Church song. It's funny how a melody sounds like a memory. For me, when I hear any Cheetah Girls song, I think of my dad driving me to Busy Bear when I was in pre-K, thinking I was so cool for listening to Radio Disney. When I hear Who Let the Dogs Out, I think of our PE coaches playing that song while we played dodgeball on Spirit Day Fridays in elementary school, the days everyone was covered in Thomasville tattoos, playing with those mini footballs, sticking pom-poms in our hair that we bought from the cheerleaders. When I randomly hear Juju on that beat, or Watch Me Whip a Nene, or any Cupid Shuffle-like song, I think of awful, cringy dancing at middle school dances I wish I could pretend I never took part in. Any time I hear Put On For My City, or Bring Him Out, it brings back that Friday Night Lights feeling of being at a football game, the boys getting hyped to, run, to tear through the run-through. Any time I hear cymbals crash, for a split second, I've been conditioned to think You Ain't No Bulldog is about to play. There are certain songs that will always remind me of a baseball walk-up song or a dance from the showcase or part of a halftime performance. And of course, there are songs that personally remind me of certain people and memories, usually ones of driving around late at night to get Whataburger, since there's nothing else to do in this town. Songs like these bring back happy memories. Based on my YouTube research, a frequently overused theme in valedictorian speeches is the whole, we're gonna change the world thing. I think this is far from the truth. In reality, I doubt any of us will seriously change the world, but we will shape it. Each of us, in our own tiny, minuscule way, will have a hand in molding a small piece of the world, whether we like it or not. We may not cure cancer or go to Mars, but each of us will impact the world in our own way with our actions towards ourselves and those around us. And if we can remember those happy moments, filled with music and friends and family and memories, that's what should give us perspective on the way we want to shape the world. We've seen and experienced some pretty crazy stuff as mere seniors in high school, and there's more where that came from in our future. After we exit this gym, we will be leaving THS for good, going down separate paths, all doing different things with our lives. But here's what I encourage everyone to do. Make memories. Life is an accumulation of memories, the good, the bad, and everything in between. And it's these memories and experiences that will determine how we shape the world. So take advantage of the next few years as teenagers and young adults before true adulthood sets in. Listen to music, hang out with the people that make you feel good, work hard at whatever you do, and remember to have faith because everything works out the way it's supposed to in life. As for me, whenever I, wherever life takes me, I know that when I hear the song 22 by Taylor Swift, I'll think of everyone here on this gym floor, the class of 22, and how bittersweet that memory will be when I think of this day that we throw our caps into the air, leaving this gym to go shape the world, the day the final curtain of the first chapter of our lives closed. Thank you and go dogs. I am Ellie Griffin, president of the National Honor Society. I will be recognizing our honor graduates and the senior members of the National Honor Society. To become an honor graduate, a student must maintain a 90 or above cumulative weighted academic average during their four years of high school. An honor graduate's coursework must consist of a minimum of 75% advanced level or higher courses. These students are designated as honor graduates in the class of 2022. Iris Algrove, Shania Anderson, Nolan Barnes, Megan Barwick, Alexander Bass, Mason Beckham, Mallory Bennett, Kelly Brewer, Demi Brooks, Sam Carter, Austin Chastain, Angelica Claudio Mirabel, 
Carson Coughlin, Madison Cox, Amani Curry, Sydney Deutsch, Denarius Donald, Mark Bunch, Azaria Garland, Andrew Geyer, Ellie Griffin, Sarah Harper, India Hayes, Natalie Heron, Jada Jones, Aubrey Kynard, Matthew Lewis, Joe Linquist, Arlisha Madison, Luther Marable, Anaya Morris, Anna Meyer, Cole Reidenauer, Brianna Ryan, Radiant Sap, China Scott, Hudson Sizemore, Cole Sullivan, Jaden Thompson, Whit Weatherington, Lane Whitten, Ava White, Katie Zolt. Thank you. The following students have been inducted into the National Honor Society and completed the necessary requirements to be recognized as a member in good standing. An 85 cumulative academic average, payment of yearly dues, participation in at least eight National Honor Society service projects during the year, and upholding the character standards of the Honor Society. The students wear the National Honor Society medallion that displays the torch emblem and the four pillars of scholarship, leadership, character, and service, which are the foundation and focus of this organization. Iris Algrove, Shania Anderson, Nolan Barnes, Alexander Bass, Mason Beckham, Mallory Bennett, Kelly Brewer, Demetria Brooks, Sam Carter, Austin Chastain, Angelica Claudio Mirabel, Carson Coughlin, Madison Cox, Latia Crumbie, Amani Curry, Sydney Deutsch, Mark Futch, Jenna Gant, Azaria Garland, Andrew Geyer, Ellie Griffin, Sarah Harper, India Hayes, Kamaya Haywood, Natalie Heron, Jada Jones, Aubrey Kynard, Matthew Lewis, Joe Linquist, Arlisha Madison, Anaya Morris, Anna Meyer, Ben Rawlings, Colin Renfro, Cole Reidenauer, Xavier Rivers, Radiant Sap, China Scott, Hudson Sizemore, Jacob Smith, Cole Sullivan, Jaden Thompson, Josiah Tillman, Will West, Lane Whitten, Autumn Williams, Katie Zolt. Thank you. Now we invite the audience to stand and join us as we sing the Thomasville High School alma mater.
Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby certify that these students have met all the requirements for a high school diploma set forth by the state of Georgia and the Thomasville City School Board. On behalf of the Board of Education of Thomasville City Schools, I'm delighted to accept these candidates for graduation. Let us begin. Oliver Ortiz Aguilera. Marquise Tremel Alexander, Jr. Alyssa Danielle Allen. Iris Elizabeth Albritton Allgrove. Jawan Jaquez Anderson. Omarion Xavier Anderson. Shania Tykeria Anderson. Tykeithan Dwayne Kishan Anderson. Tyson Isaiah Anderson. Colby Wade Aquino. Janaya Michaela Bacon. Jamiria, Jamiria, Inquinasia, Bavard. Amarian, Lamar, Bogan. Joshua, Aaron, Bogan, McKinney. Jimmy, Lavon, Baldry, the third. Naeem Tashir Boykin. Kelly Michelle Brewer, Anna Grace Brinson, Demetria Simone Brooks, Amari Chantel Taija Brown. Dylan D'Alvin Brown. Ayana Kiasia Brown. 
Taj Isaiah Brown. Brianna Elizabeth Bullock. Benjamin Nathan Bundrick. Brianna Lee Butler. Emma Grace Butler. Germaniah Avis Butler. Samuel James Carter. Jacameron Cody Thorne Kaysen. Jameson Leon Chambers. Austin Maurice Chastain. Angelica Abigail Claudio Mirabal. Carson Helen Cochran. Javion Deantrez Cody. Jamarian Devante Coleman. Justice Antonio Cox. Madison Ann Cox. Latia Diana Crumbry. Joseph Matthew Colbreth. Amani Sanai Curry. Macarius Rodriguez Curtis. Sydney Elizabeth Deutsch. Wayron Russell Dickerson the Fourth Habria Danasia Diggs Danasia Janice Donald Denarius Alize Donald Gabrielle and Juan Emmanuel Duncan. Khalees Janasia Ellis. Genesis Danae English.
Dylan LaTroy Fountain. John Isaac Frompkin. Mark Anthony Futch, Jr. Jenna Elizabeth Gant. Azaria Lanique Garland. Michael Lavelle Garland III. Andrew James Geyer. Amarion Lamar Glenn. Akairi Lamar Golden. Janaya Deshawn Golden. Alik Kanye Graham. Ellie Morgan Griffin. Jaden Grissom. Malik Akeem Deshad Harper. Sarah Marie Harper. India Turquesa Hayes. Tyrande Dracarius Hayes. Kamaya Sade Haywood. Stefan Jamar Henderson. Natalie Ann Heron. Christian Elisha Bradham Hightower. Jayla Lavon Hudson. Denzasia Cambriana Heaven Johnson. Dequarius Elijah Jatar Johnson. Desmond LaVar Johnson. Ashanti Chanel Jones. Jada Liana Jones.
Jemiah Anil Jones. Let's please keep in mind that this is a dignified ceremony. Please refrain from cheering and celebration until all names are called. Thank you. I will continue when it settles down. Thank you so much. Jamichael Shamar Travion Jones. Gabrielle Oriel Lachelle Kerbo. Aubrey Kate Kynard. Jaron Isaiah Leroy King. Avon Dwayne Lang Jr. <clears throat> Hazel Elizabeth Lara. Matthew Roland Lewis. Valencia Shamaya Lewis. Joseph Robert Linquist. Heaven Janaya Zamethia Lovejoy. John Wallace Lowe the Fourth Arlisha Tiana Madison Dylan Charles Mason Luther James Marable the Fourth Ashley Morgan McKay Jenna Dawn Mercer. Samaje Jakairi Mitchell. Shanaysha Shania Mitchell. Preston Allen Moore. Walter Christian Moore.
Anaya Jalen Morris. Jaquendrick Jaquez Jalexius Murphy. Anna Kobel Meyer. Ethan Lee Dakota Oberding. Bronson Cage Owens. Alexis Michelle Page. Micaiah Abriel Parker. Daira Adamari Perez Lopez. Tatiana Hadea Perkins. Javon Lou Pittman. Hannah Cornelius Price. Ethan Patrick Pyle. Benjamin Todd Rawlings. Colin Alexander Renfro. Nicholas Von Reidenauer. Xavier Dion Rivers. William Grant Roberts, Hannah Ivory Robinson, Kelsey Elise Robinson, Patricia Aaliyah Robinson, Kamaya Ayani Ross. Brianna Charlize Ryan. Caroline Demetria Sampson. Travion Deontay Sanders. Radiant Latoriana Felicia Sapp. China Milani Scott. Damari Daquan Simmons.
John Murphy Singletary. Bria Zane Singleton. Hudson Gray Sizemore. Jacob Thomas Smith. Jason Raphael Smith, Jr. Connor Brock Snipes. Jordan Quindarius Jamarion Solomon. Martiz Lorenzo Spencer. Kanye Deward Stevens. Felexis Jalea Latrice Stewart. Lewis Kurt Stringfellow. William Cole Sullivan. Emily Fallon Sumner. Jaden Jamal Thompson. Jaquez Tobias Thornton. Josiah Xavier Tillman. Emma Grace Toole. Jacob Deshaun Tyson. Nakaya Germani Virgil. Morgan Elizabeth Waldrop. Shamari Isaiah Walker. Anthony Michael Walsh. Jocelyn McKenzie Watson. William Lee West. Jimmy. DeWitt Weatherington the second Dijman Nasir Wheeler Lane Robert Will Widen.
Ava Suzanne White. Sanai Janine White. Shannon Germain White. Amari Janae Williams. Autumn Ashanti Mercedes Williams. Joseph Keith Williams, Jr. Mia Christina Williams. Maya Christine Williams. Rain Israel Williams. Takaya Simone Willis. Jada Julia Wilson. Madison Montresia Demetria Wimberly. Tanaya Amiria Unique Wimberly. Benjamin Reese Yenser. Jordan Anthony Young. Catherine Joy Zolt. To ensure a smooth and safe exit for all, we ask family and friends to allow our graduates and staff to exit the stadium first. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Thomasville High School Class of 2022!